Good afternoon, yes. and I'm just certainly pleased to be here today and, and having some an opportunity to talk to you, to the Cove, uh, to the residents up there who certainly have a very vested and wonderful interest in what happens to their community. I thought today that I might spend just a second or two talking about the next visual thing that you will all be able to see happening in your neighborhood, and that is the... Um, the rehabilitation, at the very least, if, if you will, of our fire stations 32, which is located on Francis Hack Lane. Um, and next to that fire station is the city's corporate yard. So it's going to be a combination project. Uh, we have already looked at the uh, preliminary sketches for that piece of property, the amount of land there, and the services that we need to provide uh, the fire station and the corporate yard and how best to position that. At this stage we think it'll be a three-phase project but we will be starting in this coming year on phase one and that will include repositioning the fire station so that it actually exit out onto Avenue 52. Um, at that point, which is right, it's right at Desert Club Drive, which has become quite an intersection, if you will, for uh, us folks in the Cove who like to access the uh, commercial area down near the village and certainly Old Town. So there'll be a light there that will help with that kind of traffic, but it'll be mainly driven by the emergency vehicles being able to depart from the new site and getting... Uh, uh, east, uh, certainly east, west, and north, south, with a great deal of much more ease, if you will, than coming out on Francis Hack Lane. And the the firefighters who have been such a significant part of this community way back when, I know Kay will remember the fire bells, uh, which which kind of almost kept the fire station in operation for many years with their fundraising activities. Uh, and, and for those of you that have been by, by that fire station, you know that it's, it's a building that's uh, reaching its very, very old age. And, and many and, people have voted there, too. And many people, yes, yes that's mm -hmm. true. Mm -hmm. That uh, was a, a polling place. And in fact, I'm, don't, I'm assuming that it still it is. is. Mm -hmm. um, but in, in our grown-up community, in our grown-up world, it's time for that station to, and, and the Cove to be able to uh, appreciate a new station uh, with all the amenities and uh, all of the, the wonderful things that you like to pro provide for the firefighters who spend two and three and four days on the job mm -hmm. and uh, don't return to their homes. So will that new fire station be started this year or uh, next uh, fiscal year? Yeah, mm -hmm. sometime the next fiscal the, the mm -hmm. next fiscal year, which mm -hmm. takes us all the way to June next year. Mm -hmm. When you say is will it start this this year, people think well by by December mm -hmm. we're going to have a new fire station, and uh, I've never seen government move quite that fast, so it won't happen here either. But that is something for all of us to look forward to in the. Uh, next fiscal year and probably each of the next three fiscal years as we complete phase one, two, and three. 